The Exylvanians have seized control of Tiki Bay, an island belonging to the Solar Empire. In response, we are coordinating a counterattack with our Solar allies. Brigadier Betty, my noble warriors have recaptured the base at the other end of the island. That's the kind of news I like to hear, Empress Laco. Commander, all you gotta do is lead the attack on this side of the island. Simple, huh? I offer forth a squad of my bravest men to help you in this endeavor. A very generous offer, Empress. We accept. Advance. Protect our frontier allies at all costs. I'm sending a gunship to reinforce your position. Lay down some heavy fire on those attack troops. Commander, the Exylvanians have deployed one of their all-conquering battle stations. Remember, Commander, battle stations are vulnerable to airborne attacks, especially from gunships. History has proven otherwise. Those reinforcements are pinned down, Commander. Get over there and help them out! The battle station is halfway across the island. You must not let it reach the solar base, Commander. Sorry, Brigadier Betty. Excellent! Now we have the anti-air support to take down Ingrid's fighter squadron. Shoot down those fighters, Commander! Only then will Frontier Command authorize gunship support! Closing in on the solar base. We can't let it fall back 
back into Exylvanian hands. Once again, I give thanks for your assistance, Brigadier Betty. Perhaps when the war is over, I will dedicate a shrine in your name. What is our interest in the Coral Atolls, Herr Kaiser? The Solar Empire is a minor military power. Long ago, the Iron Legion of Old Exylvania held fearsome dominion over half the nations of the world. Then one fateful night, the Legion marched upon the Solar Empire. The souls were hopelessly outnumbered, yet they had engineered a doomsday device. It drew down the power of the sun. We should call upon our glorious ancestors. It is within your power! The region cannot be controlled! There would be no victory, only suffering! <laughs> <laughs> 